Hi everybody, it's Lavinia. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a flip through of Creative Haven's Glorious Songbirds coloring book. I bought this today at Hobby Lobby. It's $6.99 and it says here in the back, celebrate the beauty of songbirds and marvel at 31 realistic illustrations of gorgeous songbirds in idyllic settings. And I've already looked through this and I just want to show you uh, something odd about it. I don't know if all Creative Haven books are like this, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here's the inside cover showing a sample of one of the books, uh, excuse me, one of the pages. All the pages are perforated, so if you did want to tear it out and maybe work on it separately or there, or hang it up or put it, uh, you know, gift it to someone. So it's by uh, John Green as the illustrator. Copyright is 2023, so it's this year. So it gives here on this page here just a sample of some of the birds that are in here as well as a detailed color guide on the back of each page so I thought that was kind of nice I didn't see it until I got home but here's one of the pages and then on the back it tells you here American goldfinch and then the colors that would be in there now I have a book um, Field Guide to Arizona Birds, so I might use that. I might also Google and take a look to see just in case, um, you know, I'm not sure exactly how the bird would look, but American Goldfinch, we have those here in our backyard. And then it also tells you about the flower and the butterfly, the type of butterfly. You know, so I can search that and see what colors I would want to use in here. Here's another set of birds on a nest. And this is the American Red Start. Tells you about the colors for the male, the female, and the flower. Here's our next page. Bird sitting on a pumpkin. And this is the American Robin. So we have plenty of these here too in our backyard. Here's a trio of birds, which is the Baltimore Oriole. Again, the colors. Here's a pair of birds feeding at a feeder. Black-headed grosbeak. Again, the colors for the male and the female. These are blue jays. We get a different type of blue jay here in Arizona. This set of birds. So as you notice, they are in alphabetical order. That one's called the blue throat. Here's a nice pair in a nesting box. Here's a trio, cedar waxwing. This is a Dartford warbler. Eastern bluebird. Now here's one flying, so that's actually kind of nice too to get that. That's an Eastern meadowlark. This is a pretty page. Eurasian wren. European Blackbird, European Chaffinch, here's a trio, European Goldfinch with the thistle flower, so that'll be nice to um, color in purple. This one here is the European Nuthatch, European Robin, and I've seen um, YouTube artists that uh, paint robins and and I always think well that's not like the robins that I that I see in my yard but that's the reason why here's this gold crest great crested flycatcher house sparrow so this is the one that is here in this inside cover that page there Louisiana water thrush, mockingbird, and here's where I want you to see the oddity. 
because as I was flipping through and looking through, I was like, well, I think I've seen these pages before. And in fact, here we go back to the European Goldfinch, the European Nuthatch, European Robin, the Gold Crest, the Great Crested Flycatcher, the House Sparrow, the Louisiana Water Thrush, the Mockingbird. And so here we start back in order. So I counted the pages and they're more than 31. So there are 31 individual pages. So I don't know if this is just a mistake and there's extra pages here in here, or if they usually put some duplicate pages, not all the, not, that's the only section that's duplicated. Everything else now continues in alphabetical order. So if any of you have a Creative Haven book, um, maybe just let me know. I try to look at Amazon and other YouTubers, and I guess maybe because this is a brand new book, there are no other videos on it. So maybe I just got some extra pages and maybe I can use those out as test pages before coloring them, um, you know, in the book. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so that was the Nightingale. These are the Northern Cardinals, and we do get these here. And I'm surprised that they don't have colors for the male and the female, because at least here, our Cardinals are different. Uh, the female is a lighter color, and the male is definitely a, a bright reddish orange. Northern Perula Warbler. These are cute. And here's a nest, reed wobbler, scarlet tanager. This bird looks like it's with uh, maybe plums or peaches. Song thrush. So it doesn't tell you what this would be. So I guess I could mm, maybe take a look. Could be plums. It could be apricots. I'll have to take a look and decide when I get to that page. That's a starling. And that's a woodlark. And then here in this back page, here's the cardinals. Okay, maybe that's the reason why they didn't put male or female. They just made this as uh, two males. And then here on the back are the, the American goldfinch with that butterfly there. So yeah, so that's the flip through of the Creative Creative Haven Glorious Songbirds coloring book. And again, just have some duplicate pages in here. Don't know if that's a mistake or if that's something that is in all the Creative Haven coloring books. But again, it's supposed to be 31 pages, which I do have, plus those extra pages. And I got this at Hobby Lobby for $6.99 and I look forward to coloring in here. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye.